Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Getting a lot of questions this season on double cob, multiple cobs on the same uh, same stock here. Um, we're actually seeing that all across eastern Canada and Ontario and in the Maritimes and Newfoundland even. Uh, hybrids that aren't characteristically known for it are, are putting out multiple cobs. So um, big questions that come up are why does it happen and are they going to amount to anything? Um, so in this field we got some on the on the outer edge which we typically see but it's actually throughout the whole field that we have multiple cobs so um, why does it happen and, and the, the truthfully the big answer is we don't know um, you know some of the the leading uh, corn agronomists out there uh, have talked about um, you know genetics uh, uh, environmental conditions I don't think it's a result of population or, or, or sp plant spacing um, but if we're seeing it in areas like Newfoundland is there something to do with the cool early spring and then moving into the the heat later on that's um, making this crop do this as a response um, we've also talked about um, you know will they mount anything and and really um, this is a great learning opportunity this fall tracking those hybrids and and tracking those uh, those second cobs right before harvest um, there's some theories out there that if uh, if the corn has excellent stay green at harvest it, it will sacrifice that second cob to keep staying standing but um, if if it tends to fall over a little more, the stalks tend to, uh, you know, not have as much integrity, not just from a rot, but just, just they lose their stay green. Um, you know, I think there might be a solid chance at that second cob because it's, it's cannibalizing that stalk for the grain. So uh, great learning opportunity here and we're excited to see what, what comes from this.